Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're taking a look at DaVinci Resolve Power Grids. So for the impatient ones, think of them as stills. Check my last video on the topic, but that work across projects. We just saw in that other video how useful stills are to work in a project, but they have one limitation, which is they are just within the project. So if you move to a different project, you do not have access to those stills. And you might want to do that, especially if you have some grades that you use very, very much and very, very often through different projects. So let's hop into Resolve on how to do this and why would you do it. All right, and now we're in DaVinci Resolve 17. And if you want more details on how to use stills, which power grades are very similar to it, please check that other video. But basically to create a power grade from a grade that you have. So for instance, I have this clip. I'm very happy with this grade or happy enough. So to save it as a power grade or grab a still as a power grade, basically you open the gallery and then you need to choose a power grade album here. And this is something that I have these three. I prepared this one for this particular tutorial, but to create a new power grade album, you just right click in here and you can add a power grade album. But basically now I just grab a still. So right click and grab still. And because I have the power grade album selected, this still is grabbed as a power grade and not just as a normal still. And if you have some default albums in here and you don't know which are stills and power grades, even though the default ones are called stills one and power grade one, take a look at the icon. It's almost the same, some sort of image like thing, but the power grade icon has also a couple of arrows. And for all intents and purposes, this will just behave like a still. So I can, again, apply this grade to another clip or I can export it and export an image or maybe create a lot if I end up making a video about that, but they just behave like stills. The difference is that stills are specific to a project. So if you close this project and you open a new one, you do not have access to the stills of this particular project. And that's something that we can take a look. So I have these stills here. Actually, I'm going to even grab another one as a still. So you can see that I have four in here. Now I'm going to save this project. Let's see that we have this power grade tutorial with a clip with a still that we just saved as a power grade. And let's go and open a different project. And let me double click. And now that we are in this very different power grade sample project, we can see that if I open the gallery, I don't have any stilt in this project, but I do have access to all the different power grade albums that I have. And if you remember, the power grade tutorial is the one we created, and that still then is part of there. And now I can apply it here, so I can apply this grade, and there we are. It behaves like a still, but across different projects. And by the way, why do I use this? So at the moment, I'm mostly, if not only, doing this talking head YouTube video style. I haven't used different cameras. So I have a kind of a quite typical look that I'm after. And then I know which camera I'm using with both profile. So what I have is have these power grades specifically for each of these cameras. So I have S-Log2 using color space transform without anything in the exposure color correction or the grade. And same thing for black magic design, OM lock, that's something that we have to get to soon, but not just yet. HLG, which you might have seen my video in the Panasonic is HLG, and then Zlog2, which you might have seen also a video on how to use Zlog2 as a kind of color space transform. But basically I have these power grades here ready. I can start any new project when I have recorded a talking head type of thing, and then use these power grades. Yes, you could work around the sharing of these things with the specific um, like repetitive type of work, having a project template, which I do have with the opening and titles and music and whatnot. And you could have just the stills for those. But time to time, I change actually these power grades. Or maybe I add a new one from a different project. So I don't need to go and mess about on doing all these things always in the project template so I have them accessible. Because sometimes I do things that I'm not using the project template either. But I always do have access to my power grades, which are here. And now I have this clean, which is color spray transforms, but nothing on the exposure color correction and grade. And then I have this other one with the look that at the moment I'm going for. So for instance, with the S-Log, I've been going for a little bit darker, 
but that's all I have for the discussion because that's a matter of taste. Once again, the point being how to use power grades, and this is about sharing stills across different projects in Resolve. All right, I hope you liked the video and you find it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we're gonna see you soon for some more content.